Hey Badger Buddies! Here are impressive ways that animals communicate with each other. Number four is the loudest noise in the ocean. Number 12. The humpback whale is the Bruno Mars of the ocean. Humpback whale males sing to their mates, and what's amazing is that their songs have a rhythm and a rhyme. Marine biologists believe that whales use the tempo and the rhymes because it makes the songs easier to remember. And the better the whale's voice, the better the odds he'll get some whale tail. Number 11. Fairy wrens talk trash to predators to impress the females. Fairy wrens are these cool little blue birds that live in Australia. Unfortunately for the fairy wrens, they are super low on the food chain and a favorite snack for birds of prey. The butcher bird seems to have a real affinity for fairy wren meat because they're constantly trying to capture these winged snacks. But the male fairy wrens are real reckless bad boys in the face of this danger. Whenever they hear the call of a butcher bird, the male fairy wren will reply back to that butcher bird mimicking its call. Why does he do this? Because the female fairy wren loves that type of confident and cocky attitude. When the female sees this cavalier bravado, she is swept off her feet and becomes ready to get busy. That is, if they both don't get devoured by a butcher bird first. Number 10. Caribbean reef squids are nature's version of mood rings. These torpedo-shaped creatures have 10 arms and are most often found in the ocean's shallow reefs. Like most squids, they have a huge appetite and typically consume 30 to 60% of their body weight every day. Caribbean reef squids are social creatures and usually run in small packs. These awesome little animals use their pigment cells to send different messages to their friends. They have these cells all over their bodies, and they can either expand or contract them to show unique patterns and colors that each represent a different mood. This cool feature is the reason that they're known as the chameleon of the sea. Pop quiz, hot shot! Which creature do you think has the most complex language in the animal kingdom? See if you can guess the correct answer in the comment section, and we'll let you know later on in the video if you're right. Number nine. Coming in at number nine is the largest land animal on the planet. Not only are elephants staggeringly large, they are also prodigious communicators. Elephants can produce sound waves at super low frequencies. So low that humans can't even hear it. After developing some advanced equipment to measure the elephant call, scientists found that elephants use these noises to communicate even when they're miles apart. What's more is that after studying elephants for four decades, biologist Joyce Poole concluded that they have over 200 different calls and gestures. Joyce eventually was able to reliably predict what an elephant would do based on its movements, postures, and sounds. She's an elephant whisperer! Joyce tried to get into the dating scene after she moved home after 40 years with elephants. Unfortunately, she's been rejected left and right. Joyce can tell you what the flick of a trunk or the wag of a tail means in the wild. But in the real world, that information is irrelevant. Number eight. From elephant to rodent. Next up, we have the mole rat. The mole rat looks like Mother Nature had a wild night out, made some poor decisions, and in the morning, mole rat. The mole rat lives underground in burrows that they dig. These things are blind, and they can't really communicate vocally, so they do the only thing they really can do. They bang their heads against the burrow walls. It's as dumb as it sounds but it's how they communicate with each other. Imagine every time you had to say hello, you put yourself at risk of CTE. The other mole rats can feel the vibrations from the head banging and it helps them to know who all is in the hole. Number seven, tree hoppers are tiny insects that are found on every continent except Antarctica. They have a sharp pointed spine on their backs, which makes them look like the thorns on the plants that they call home. What's fascinating about these little thorny insects is the way that they talk to one another. When they want to communicate, tree hoppers will literally send each other good vibrations. A tree hopper will perch itself on a plant stem and vibrate its body, which sends out a frequency that other tree hoppers can feel. They have vibrations that let other bugs know if they found a good leaf to eat 
or if there is a predator nearby. Male tree hoppers use vibrations to try to win the affection of a female. The females love it when a male tree hopper has mastery of his vibrations. I guess that's something we have in common with the tree hoppers. Number six. Here's a fun fact about rhinos. For all of their lumbering mass, menacing horn, and indomitable attitude, they actually have terrible sight. Look at those little eyes. Can you even see my hand, bud? <laughs> He's got nothing. <laughs> to supplement their lousy eyes, evolution has given them a keen sense of smell. And how do they use that acute nose? Well, to take a long and deep whiff of their friend's freshly laid dung, of course. Boo Boo is like a rhino's status update on Facebook. A rhino will lay a nifty little coil on the ground. And what's actually kind of cool is that other rhinos can tell if the dumper is either healthy or sick fertile or infertile, just based on the aroma. Number five. Chimpanzees are a highly adaptable species and inhabit a range of habitats, including tropical rainforests, mountains, swamp forests, and less densely vegetated forest savanna areas. Chimps represent our closest living relative, sharing 98% of our genetic DNA. Evolutionary biologists believe that humans and chimps shared a common ancestor around 7 million years ago. What's wild about our common ancestry is that chimpanzees signal to each other in a way that is eerily similar to human gestures. After examining over 5,000 incidents of exchanges between chimpanzees, scientists discovered that they communicate using 19 specific messages to one another with a lexicon of 66 gestures. They have movements to request a group grooming session. If they bite on a leaf, it's a form of flirtation with a desired mate. And young chimps even have a gesture to ask for a piggyback ride. Number four. Dolphins are the best. They surf on waves, they are known to save humans from sharks, and they have an extraordinary ability to communicate with each other. Dolphins chat using intricate patterns involving three forms of sound, whistles, burst pulse sounds, and clicks. Fun fact, the dolphin click is the loudest sound made by any marine animal. And these clicks are also used for echolocation, which is basically dolphin radar. What's even more awesome is that each dolphin has their own signature whistle, like an aquatic theme song. Are these the coolest animals in the ocean? Dolphinately. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe. Ring the bell button to get notified of new videos, and we always appreciate a big thumbs up. Number three. Peruvian warbling antbirds live in pairs, and they are known to have some toxic relationships. The females are fiercely territorial of their males and they get real jealous real easily. The two lovebirds sing together to let other antbirds know their location. Problem is that when another female bird comes along, the boyfriend will change the tune of his song and try to lure her in. This really grinds the gears of the female, who then sings louder to drown out his flirtatious call. It's answer time! According to Professor Khan Slobochikov of Northern Arizona University, prairie dogs have the most complex language in all the animal kingdom. They can relay a stunning amount of information in a single bark. Let's do a deep dive and see what these guys can do. Number two. Prairie dogs are essentially chatty little squirrels of the desert. They live in giant and intricate underground burrows that can be populated with up to a thousand prairie dogs. The way that they communicate is through loud barks and yips that make up a stunningly complex language. Prairie dogs have a different word for each one of their predators. Scientists have studied prairie dogs and have found that they can get super descriptive. Researchers had different humans walk around the prairie dog burrows and found that the dogs had different calls depending on what the person was wearing, how short or tall they were, and at what speed they were moving. This puts the prairie dog level of communication higher than that of the chimpanzee or the dolphin. Number one. Coming in at number one is the nasty way that bears communicate in the wild. It's unbearable. Bears are solitary creatures. They like to fly solo and they want other bears to know to stay out of their territory. Brown bears have special gland secretions that they mix with a dash of urine and then they spray it all over the area like they're Banksy at the Gaza Wall. 
It's very avant-garde. These sprays are essentially chemical signposts that send out clear warnings to other bears to stay away.